hello and welcome to your beauty -o. your beauty -o. your beauty -o. sitting down again two weeks ago i was sitting down i said it wasn't sort of going to do but i'm sitting down i kind of enjoyed it and my lights gone off what's happened <laughs> look at that what a plum didn't have a light on, but nonetheless turn the light on we'll continue stuff at the beginning of the video don't matter i'm sure hopefully the light was all right might have been darker might not have been able to see me ugly mug let's crack on not doing an unboxing this week i'm going to show you what i've bought because i went out and collected it um, bought this stuff off a guy last month. I might have mentioned it before. I run a beauty competition in my shop, money getting a charity, that sort of thing. And a guy named Adam come down, plays the beauty. Oh, he's into the game, but he also collects a little bit as well. And this is some of the stuff that I've picked up off him. Um, surplus to his requirements, really. So we'll go through, we'll have a look at it. I've got some cool stuff here. I'm quite happy with some of these bits. I've got a right random set of balls. Which I'm right random set of balls. I've got a right random set of balls, which I think are cool. So should we jump in, have a straight look? Let's do it. So there it all is. First thing you've probably seen is the Football Express. There's a few Football Express bits here. We've got some Sputer Express leaflets, some goals, and some Football Express teams. Now, I'm guessing when he got these, he, this is Harry Adam. So, I'm guessing he got the person he got these from, obviously, at some point, a Football Express set. Because you've got, on the Football Express teams, you've got red and a blue. And we all know the classic stereotypical thing with Sputer when you get a team is you get red and blue. But what I love about these, they are empty. It's a shame. It doesn't matter. What I love about these, although they're empty, look at the difference. It's just nice to have a set of these boxes. I've even got a rod in there, look. It's nice to see. Some, I've never actually seen the Football Express boxes. So that's cool. That's awesome. I love them. I think they're great. You've then got the Football Express rules or leaflet. Look at that. That's awesome, right? Football Express by Spirit. So in case you don't know what Football Express is, Football Express was basically a five-a-side. It's a beauty -o. You took the lid off the box. As soon as you took the lid off, took it from that, the pitch was already in the box. Goals, which these are. I even got some Football Express. Goals, awesome. You clipped them on the side, on the back. These little bits clipped onto the box. I don't know if you can see them. One's broken off that side. That bit there, you clipped that onto the box. Bang, you had indoor football played off the walls. Played the beauty -o, the same as. Football Express goals, Football Express leaflet, Football Express team box. It is. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even care if it's falling apart a little bit. It's so awesome. I might try and get some loose players to put in them and just use them as team boxes. I said at the beginning I had some random balls. Well, look at them. Sponge balls. High bounce balls, they were called. And they are basically just a sponge ball. And they do bounce a little bit. They were like made for practicing. Apparently, Adam, the guy I bought them off, he said they're quite good for chipping. They're quite good for getting in the air. They're yeah, cool, right? And they're not, they look like saying that someone's probably made up, but they are a proper Sabutio product. They're awesome, right? I think they're great. This is an empty box, <laughs> basically. Set 117, corner flags. Now, as empty as this box is, this was actually a right touch for me to get my hands on because I've got these corner flags. I've got the C117 corner flags, but guess what? Didn't have a box. Boom, now I've got a box. Didn't realise it when I bought them, Adam. The absolute star, you've sorted me out there. So that boxes him up, and that box is in amazing condition, right? Moving on. Set NN goals. So I think a couple of weeks ago, I had some set FF balls. Well, these are the goals that they go with. So they did two. They, the main goal was set N. It was your standard goal. These are a little bit broken, these ones. But the set NN and the set FF balls were basically a smaller version. So if you were really good at Sabutio, you would have played with set end balls and you can sort of see look the size of them compared to the football express goals i mean football express goals are small they're not actually that much bigger are they i'll have to try and do a comparison i'll try and stick a picture on the side over this way if i can just of the size of them compared to a normal size goal because there's definitely a difference but yeah if you was a bit more skillful you would have used them and again look at the box man such great condition let me know down in the comments. Did you used to play with these goals, or did you play with the normal goals? Were you good enough to play with these goals? Did you try these goals? Were you not very good with these goals? Let me know. It'd be interesting to see. And then the last few bits I got off of them was some teams. So I got, is this a Hashbro team? I can't remember. I've had it out, obviously. And look, it is. So the Hashbro team, where you used to get all the players in pegs in there, in the bases, you had to put it all together yourself. We've got a Newcastle United reference number is on there. I can't remember what it was. 63727, so 727 reference. They did make that as well with the Newcastle Brown Ale star on it. Ah, oh, it looks so cool if it was that one, but sadly it's not. We've got one player who's broken off his peg, but he used to get 
a spare player, you've got 11 players on peg, so it doesn't actually matter, it's still a complete team there. What I like more than anything is the box, it's got the Premier League box on it. That's cool, right? Yeah, love that. Da -da -da. That's good. And then the other two teams I got off him were not actually Sabutio, but still table football, table soccer. So obviously nowadays Sabutio is not as big as it once was, but it's still plenty of people out there that make and paint sides. So I bought off him these two teams as well. They're based on the old heavyweights. You've got a top spin side and you've got a Santiago table soccer side. And they're hand painted. This one is a Tottenham side from a few years ago. I can't remember the exact year. It's got the old AIA insurance, I think it was insurance, sponsor on. Very nicely painted, but I'll tell you what I do like about these, these are top spin. Nice box, right? Why can't Subutio, the stuff they make, do this sort of effort nowadays? And they are based on the old heavyweights as well. So we see how they flick? Don't know if they've been polished. Nah, it was rubbish that was, wasn't it? I think it's just my flicking. Nah, I'm pretty sure they flick quite well. Yeah, not bad. Flip just like a heavyweight, so they're cool. And then we've got the Santiago's, we we're missing their keeper, but these are Swansea Swansea kit from a few years ago. Again, hand painted, nice looking design. Not a team I would have picked up normally, but seeing as they come in the full set with all these other bits, why not? Eh, it's all about buying job lots and seeing what you get. Should we see how the Santiago's flick? Oh, I must say, that flicks a lot better than the top spins. That's a lot better. Oh, I'll tell you what, I like them. They're good. Let's do a quick compare. Santiago. Little lip there. Let's try and pull that lip out. Santiago. Top spin. Well, actually, maybe my flicking just improved in the last 10 seconds. So they'll go in the cabinet with the rest of the teams. Nice boxes as well. Santiago table salt. Oh. Getting them caught up. So there's some nice bits there, right? I <laughs> love these balls. Sponge balls, who'd have come up with the idea of sponge balls? Let me know what you think. What's your favourite item? What's not your favourite item? Do you like the Football Express? Have you got a Football Express? Did you play it? Did you play with us? Did you play with a smaller set and end goals? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Instagram. Cool, all right? So there you go. Bought a little job lot, some nice stuff, some good Football Express stuff, some Premier League, some other table football stuff, small goals. It's fantastic. Don't forget, as always, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. Let me know your feelings on there. Let me know what you think. Go on there, look at the rest of my pictures. I put my whole collection on there. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the video. Have a lovely week. I'll see you next week. And as always, keep on flicking.